three very interesting things you can learn in Partimento in this video. Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardo Samusicus Practicus and today I want to talk with you about three very interesting elements you can learn in Partimento and in particular thanks to Insanguine rules book. I'm talking about how to change the key, how intervallic moves work and what are and how interrupted cadences work. So, let's start with variare il tono, so to change the key. In Sanguine wrote, right, si può variare il tono in più maniere, cioè con la seconda minore, seconda maggiore, terza minore e terza maggiore, quarta maggiore e sesta maggiore e settima minore. One can change the key in several ways, that is through making the second minor, or with a major second, um, making the third minor, or with a minor third making it major, or by using an augmented fourth, a major sixth, or a minor seventh. For example, making the second minor. Now, think that you are in a C major. In C major, you have the B natural. And then you are on a C in the bass and you move on a fourth degree. Yeah, I mean, let's do another example here on this degree. So you move on an A with a sixth. So in modern terms, F major chord. Now, if I use the tied bass and instead of a ma major second, I put the minor second, B flat, I can move, I can make a modulation to F major. Why F major? Because I'm adding the B flat. For example, let's play the rule of the octave in C major. Now let's, let's do something different than the rule of the octave in order to arrive on the A with the sixth. Modulation to F major, making the major second minor. Or um, he said with the major uh, with the major second, okay. On the contrary, he uh, think to, for example, for example, think to C minor. Now imagine you want to move to F minor, uh, F minor, for example. Uh, I mean G major, G minor. You have. A, ma a minor second over the G, A flat. Now, if you put the A natural, and then the A sharp, you move to G minor. This becomes major. So, C minor, rule of the octave. Now let's come back. And now we are in G minor. Or with a major second, okay, making then the third minor. This is quite simple. Imagine to have a, a major third. Make it minor. And you uh, I've just made a modulation. Yeah, you have to use then a cadence to confirm the modulation um, in the minor key. C major, root of the octave. C 
minor all with a minor third making it major this is the opposite which can be a very particular thing, but another kind of modulation. And then, by using an augmented fourth, as, the, as we realized and we did in the partimento with the tight bass with the augmented fourth, C major, augmented fourth, F sharp, and we move to G major. With the major sixth, remember, think to um, C minor, you have the A flat, but if you add the A natural, you can have the F sharp and move into G minor, for example. Or minor seventh, think to C major, add the B flat, and you are in F major. Of course, you need then to confirm the, the, the key with a cadence, but you move to, G, to F major. These are some examples to make a modulation, some ways. How to make a modulation. Then we have moti di intervalli, let's these intervallic moves, la quarta maggiore va alla sesta, la sesta maggiore va all'ottava, la quinta falsa, falsa va a terza, da una falsa si può andare a un'altra falsa, esempio che segue, and probably this, this is the example, now let's talk later about that, the augmented fourth expands to the, set, the sixth. Augmented fourth, sixth, as you practice in the tight bass with the augmented fourth. The major sixth expands to the octave, as you can see, and the diminished fifth contracts to the third. From one diminished fifth, you can go to another, to another one. For example, then we have for, imagine this. Very common in back music. In another very common pattern, which is called uh, dominant seventh concatenation, which is something belonging uh, to the a variant, chromatic variant of the queen fall. Imagine a queen fall. Now let's use only dominant seven. we need to, yeah, so we can start it on this degree. Later, here. This. That's possible. And then see the following example. Talking about the cadenze rotte, uh, rotte, <laughs> rotto is like break, broken in Italian, broken. And here, but of course, interrupted cadences is the uh, correct translation. Vi sono ancora le cadenze rotte, sono rotte le palle, uscendo, <laughs> anche le cadenze si rompono le palle, mi spiace, solo gli italiani capiranno, <laughs> all Italian we understand. Uh, vi sono ancora le cadenze rotte uscendo di tono come questo esempio che segue. So, there are also interrupted or deceptive cadences that leave the key as in the example that follows. Now, <laughs> what I said that uh, also cadences um, get uh, their balls broken. Which, so, it, one of the most used words in Italian is Palla, palle, which is like balls. And you can use the word palle in many contexts and the meaning changes according to the preposition you will use. For example, if you, if you say, uh, if someone says that you, you stay on the balls, okay, you're not welcome, okay? If, if, so to stay on the balls. Now, now if someone says to, um, to go out of the balls, 
go away because it's dangerous out of the box or uh, if someone says you are making my ball spinning pay attention because he's getting angry and if someone say for example uh, you are saying balls <laughs> you are saying strange things or uh, if you mm, mm, so on the balls uh, okay if you stay in the middle of the balls you are not welcome you're not welcome for example if you go in a place and uh, someone says that you are in the middle of the balls in the middle of the balls pay attention because you are annoying but if you are out of the if you, if someone says out of the balls out of the balls out go away because it's out of the balls is dangerous for you is is hung angry with you out of the balls uh, i said on the balls in the middle of the balls out of the balls and then mm, there are many other meanings palle palla is the one of the most used words in italian now um, so there are also interrupted or deceptive cadences that leave the key as in the example as in this example that follows now let's play this example we have okay as you can see now instead of we have Not a true cadence. As you can see, we have this broken cadence, deceptive. So you want, but we do in Italy this, and then and now you here need your. But or fa 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 mi fa mi, and at the end, double cadence as you can see. So this is the interrupted cadence. And then let's continue in the next step talking about very other interesting things like uh, here moto di basso sopra ut fa sol re mi fa can you sing with your hand consider that this method has been used to teach music from the middle ages until the early 19th century all the great musicians whose music captivates and moves us learned the basics of music starting right here with a simple hand that I have drawn on a globe, which encapsulate all the elements of music. The great scale, hexachords, clefs, notes and melodies. Everything in the palm of one hand. It is true that it is not so easy to learn this system at the beginning. It is all based on a series of musical relationships and ratios which are different from modern music theory. The historical sources are written in ancient Italian, making them accessible to only a few. Furthermore, the way the ancients write is not always so clear. However, if you have as passionately curious as I am, and you would love to learn how to sing like a true Renaissance or Baroque musicus practicus, take a look to Fa me et me fa e stota musica method. In English, so it will be very easy for you to understand everything from A to Z. 13 stages that are well organized and ordered. Start from stage 1 and gradually progress to stage 13, following the step-by-step -step order proposed in this journey. Examples, images and practical exercises that visually teach you what to do, how to do it and why to do it. Oh, and in the end, we will do a test together. Learn more. Yeah.